I want to cover a little issue that some users have run into when they run Docker directly on a Linux kernel. In other words, if you happen to have an Ubuntu or some kind of Linux desktop computer, or if you're just trying out Docker on a server, you might run into some file permission issues that you don't run into if you run Docker on your Macintosh or Windows. Now Docker and Macintosh or Windows both have a little layer of virtualization that does a little bit of magic for file permissions, so you don't usually have to change file permissions or worry about them when developing on your workstation. But if you're running Docker directly on your Linux kernel based computer, you might run into that. So let's see what I mean and then we'll see how to fix it. So I've cloned our repository here, I have an application, I have a Docker Composer file. The only thing I've changed here is to listen on port 8888, so that's what we're going to test when we see our Laravel application in the web browser. Let's just go right ahead and do docker compose up d. All right, so that's up and running. We can do docker volume ls to list them out. We can see we have a docker volume here for our MySQL container. Let's do docker volume inspect quick. We'll inspect that by name. We'll see it's var lib docker volumes php data data. This is the volume container, remember, that has our MySQL data inside of it. So if I go into that directory, list it out, we'll see our MySQL data, but we'll also see that we have a user of 999 and a group of Docker. Now, the other thing we know here is that this is a file on our real file system. In other words, the volume we created in Docker is sharing data between the container and our host system. And this data has successfully been written to our file system. Now, if I head on over here and I go to our IP address 8888, I'm reloading the page and we have a blank white screen which you might recognize as a PHP error. So that error is probably because we have a Laravel application and it can't write to its log file and it can't write its view cache to the view cache location on the file system. So we have a MySQL container that can write to the file system and we have a PHP container that can't. So let's see what's going on between those. First and foremost, remember that we have a user ID of 999 here. If I do docker ps, we are going to do docker exec dash it. We're going to get into our MySQL container here, PHP DB1, and we're going to run bash so we get inside of it. If I run psaux, we'll see that we have MySQL running as user MySQL. Let's ID user MySQL. No surprise, user ID 999. So what we've done here in the volume is to match the user ID here. So we've basically done chown r user ID 999 and all the files inside of this data directory. All right, so knowing that, let's go back to our PHP app application directory. Everything in here is owned by user and group root, which probably means that PHP can't write to it. It probably doesn't have permission to write to files owned by root. So once again, Docker PS, let's find our PHP container. Let's do Docker exact IT, get into that with bash. PSAUX, we'll see that FPM is running. It's running with our default pool as user and group www.data. So let's ID www.data. We'll see it's 33 in this case. So here we go. We're going to go up a directory. Let's chone r user ID 33. We're going by user ID here. That's a perfectly valid thing to do. And we're going to change the owner of our application here. Now I'm also going to do the same thing as the Docker volume and do change group. So I'll just make that group Docker for our application directory as well. So www.data. Docker. Now, I gave all the files in here a user ID of 33. That is showing up as user www data here. And that is because this server is Ubuntu, just like the container, and it happens to have a user www data that is also user ID and group ID 33. But regardless of that, let's see if this works. So, we saw the container was running PHP as user www data. That user ID was 33. So what we did in our file system on our server here, the real file system, not the one in the container, is that we matched the user ID here, in this case 33, which is also WW data on our Linux server here. Let's go to the browser, refresh, and we see that Laravel is able to write to the log file. It was able to write to the cache directory it needed to write to in order to cache this default view here, and it worked instead of erroring out. Now the key point to remember of why this worked is because we matched the user ID of the process running inside of the container and we made it so that container running under user ID 33 in this case for a PHP container needed the user ID 33 to be set as the owner for our application directories here. So if you're running into file permission issues, that is the case. File ownership is shared when you mount a volume between your host file system and your container file system when Docker is running directly on your uh, server or your computer, your desktop, whatever. So if you ever have a question of how that works, you can spin up your own MySQL container 
you can check out the volume to see what how that's set and you can kind of mimic and copy that just like we did here for our PHP container or your Ruby container, your Python container, your Node.js container, whatever you have to be running if you're running some code that has to have file system access.